Hi there! My name is Rima. In this video, we will talk about different methods for performing risk analysis. A risk assessment is used to gather data about different risks to the organization. A risk analysis examines this gathered data to produce results that can be acted upon. Risk analysis forms a major part of the overall risk assessment process. Applying and selecting appropriate controls can be a very complex task, especially if the company has limited resources. Risk analysis helps companies prioritize their risks. It also shows management the amount of resources that should be applied to protecting against those risks in a sensible manner. Risk analysis helps in quantifying the likelihood of occurrence and business impact of potential threats. It ultimately helps in applying controls that are economically justified according to the business impact. There are three major techniques used for risk analysis. Quantitative risk analysis, qualitative risk analysis, and semi-quantitative risk analysis. Let's review them one by one. In quantitative risk analysis, all elements of risk are quantified. These elements include asset value, threat frequency, severity of vulnerability, impact damage, safeguard costs, and much more. After assigning numeric values to these risk elements, they were used in mathematical formulas to estimate the level of monetary losses and the probability for each type of threat. Quantitative risk analysis uses single and annualized loss expectancy to quantify risk. Single loss expectancy, or SLE, is the potential loss due to a single event if a specific threat were to take place. The formula used to calculate SLE is the asset value multiplied by the exposure factor. The exposure factor is the loss percentage of the asset affected by the threat. To calculate our annual potential loss, we use annualized loss expectancy, or ALE. The formula used to calculate ALE is single loss expectancy multiplied by the annualized rate of occurrence. The annualized rate of occurrence, or ARO, is the value that represents the estimated frequency of a specific threat taking place in a year. For example, an organization's important database has estimated asset value of $50,000. If it gets compromised, the exposure factor is 30%. In this case, the single loss expectancy is $15,000. Now let's say that this risk like to occur once every year at most, so the annualized rate of occurrence is 0.1. In this case, annualized loss expectancy is $1,500. This ALE value tells the company the amount of resources that can be used to protect the database from getting compromised. It can therefore sensibly spend $1,500 or less per year to provide the necessary level of protection. Qualitative risk analysis analyzes different risk scenarios and assigns ratings to risks. Qualitative analysis techniques utilize judgment, best practices, intuition, and experience. Some techniques used for qualitative risk analysis include Delphi method, brainstorming, storyboarding, surveys, questionnaires, checklists, interviews, and much more. This method uses a risk analysis matrix to assign risk ratings. The risk assessment team utilizes this matrix to rank the likelihood and impact of threats on a scale such as low, medium, high, or on a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. For example, imagine a risk assessment team that uses a 3 by 3 risk matrix to assign risk ratings. The team expresses the likelihood of hacker accessing confidential company information as 2. If this threat occurs, then the impact or severity of the threat is 3. The risk is calculated by multiplying the likelihood with the impact which is 6. The company classifies all the risks with rating of 1 to 2 as low, 3 to 4 is medium and 6 to 9 is high. In this case, the risk of hacker accessing confidential company information is high. Semi-quantitative risk analysis is a hybrid approach that combines the qualitative and quantitative methods into a risk ranking methodology. 
This technique facilitates analysis of controls on both a scenario and a numerical basis. The Risk Analysis Team, Management, Risk Analysis Tools, and Culture of the Company will dictate which risk analysis approach should be used. The goal of using each of these methods is to estimate companies' real risk and to rank the severity of the threats. This helps in selecting appropriate controls that can be put into place within a practical budget. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!